Hi everyone, I'm here with Nikki Salatino and mm -hmm. Mickey runs the Ida's Walkers Pet Care Program. Um, hi, Mickey. Hello, Dina. This is Chloe. <laughs> this is Seamus. Hi. Yeah, we just wanted to tell you a little bit about Ida's Walkers. I guess I should start by telling um, everyone about the history of Ida's Walkers. Um, we had, actually it started with um, one of my neighbors had asked us to help her with her dog. She had really bad arthritis and she couldn't get out and walk her dog any longer. So we started walking her dog and we started asking around and realized this is a, an issue for many seniors. They can't get out, um, they're at risk of a fall. So that's where we started Ida's Walkers in Pet Care Program. And that was in 2016. And we, um, Mickey came on board in 2019. So yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I came on board with um, Ida's Walkers about a year ago, yeah. um, helping seniors, uh, low-income seniors, uh, be connected to volunteers that could walk their dogs. So that's basically what Ida's Walkers is. It's a program for low-income seniors that need help taking care of their pets, um, mainly walking their dogs. That's a big, huge help. And so they contact us, we get them signed up, and we match them up with a volunteer uh, that best fits their pet's needs as well. And then from there, they each you know, decide when and where and how long the dog is walked, how often. And um, yeah, and a lot of the volunteers, even before I came along, have, had been volunteering for several years. Right. And so for the dogs, it's really... Uh, beautiful when I touch base with some of our senior clients and they say oh yeah when Suzanne comes to walk Sophia Sophia just knows as soon as she parks that Suzanne is coming and she just runs all over the place and is so happy and so it's not only great for the dogs who get to walk and they get some exercise but it's great for the seniors too because not only does their dog get walked mm -hmm. but they have this relationship yeah, you know with the volunteer really, it's really nice so yeah it's been yeah. it's been really great Welcome to the Pet Corner Show. Today we are interviewing one of our Ida's Walkers uh, volunteers. This is Karen, everyone. And, um, and yeah, we'll be asking her some questions about why she volunteers and stuff. So Karen, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I live here in Long Beach. I live kind of over near the traffic circle. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I moved here maybe seven years ago while I was going to college here and just mm -hmm. really, um, took a liking to the city, so I'm here yeah. now. Um, nice. I live with my boyfriend who's a Long Beach native, so I get to see the city through his eyes oh. sometimes. And, um, Very cool, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> nice. <laughs> and what did you study in college? Healthcare administration. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, cool. so I work for a couple of medical groups um, in Cerritos. Oh, okay, you do that now. Mm -hmm. You work for them now. Nice. Okay. And. Um, Tell us a little bit about your experience with pets. Did you have pets growing up? Yeah. yeah. I always had pets growing up. This is the first time in my life when, I've, when I don't have mm -hmm. a pet. Um, and I actually, my first job um, was working at an animal hospital. So I started off there cleaning cages and giving baths and stuff and worked a couple different um, positions or departments in the company and yeah. um, have just really liked animals my whole life. Um, right now, working full time, living in a no pets apartment, it's not a good time to have a pet. So mm -hmm. I wanted to find a volunteer opportunity that connected me with with animals or or someone's pet oh that's wonderful and that's a good way to start too is you know working at a pet shelter or at a pet hospital mm -hmm. you know and then kind of like move move your way up and yeah yeah um, great well I'm glad that you're with us <laughs> volunteering and um, so so you were just uh, walking trip mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about trip and uh, yeah just about him and uh, do you know about how old he is and he is about 10 years old mm -hmm. and he is a mini Australian Shepherd and they usually have really long full coats but he has yeah. his summer haircut right now so <laughs> he can stay cool yeah and um, I met trip and his owner about six months ago mm -hmm. um, and I come over twice a week to walk trip and check in on his owner and um, and depending on how trip feels, the, sometimes the walk is a little short, sometimes it's a little bit longer, but we just yeah. go at his pace, make sure he's comfortable, and yeah. he lets me know when he's ready to go home. <laughs> so we turn around and, and go back. Yeah, it's, it's good to have that relationship where you're like, you know, I'm here to walk you, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to force you yeah. <laughs> to, to walk, especially because it has been really hot, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's good, it's good to, to take it slow and be like, okay, 
uh, you know, we'll walk where you want to walk and we'll do it as long as you want to yeah. and, yeah. and <laughs> have that nice relationship. The relationship is a really important part because mm -hmm. I remember the first time you introduced me to Trip, we yes. he was kind of like, who are all these people? And, and yeah. um, But now he gets really excited when I walk up the driveway and um, he's when I get inside, he turns circles. He wants to show me his favorite toys. So <laughs> we're, we're best friends now and his owner calls me Aunt Karen. So, <laughs> so I do feel oh. like Trip, oh, like I, I, I do feel like Chip's aunt. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I could tell how excited he was mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, and then you mentioned you walk him a couple times a week, just mm -hmm. for a little bit. Yeah. And um, and I guess last but not least, um, what do you like best about walking Trip and about him and the experience of volunteering? Um, what do I like best? There's a lot of things I like best. It's hard to um, hard to narrow it down. I like how um, excited he is to see me. I like that we have this little relationship. And then the owner, mm -hmm. you know, was a stranger at one point, and now we have a yeah. working relationship. And um, mm -hmm. so just getting to know people and being part of the community. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being a part of Ida's Walkers. Mm -hmm. yeah.